Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2017 Kia Sorento, we're gonna be checking out the Kuat Envy 2.0 platform style bike rack. So first impressions of the rack on the back of the Kia. I think it looks really good. Actually, I'm a big fan of these Kuats. They are really well made, really nice products. Um, and if you're someone that rides a lot and is really gonna use uh, your bike rack a lot, you definitely can't go wrong with the Kuat. Um, on the same note, you know, if you're someone that just rides occasionally, um, you know, every now and again, um, this is kind of overkill. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's uh, an awesome rack, but, you know, if you're using it occasionally, there's some other options out there for you, like the uh, Tooley Hitching Post Pro, for example. Uh, but with that said, it's also available in a bunch of different sizes. So we have the two bike version here today. There's also a four bike version available as well. And then there's add-ons too. So let's say, if you know for a fact you need two bikes right now, you're really not sure if you need more than that, um, but it turns out, you know, a little ways down the road that you, you'd like to carry some more, you can always get the add-ons too and kind of build off of the two bike rack. So uh, pretty neat stuff. Uh, but with that said, you know, one of the uh, cool things that you can do with this is actually tilt it down whenever you have your bikes on it. And that can really come in handy, you know, if you forget to put something in your trunk or forget to take something out, you don't have to unload all the bikes and everything. There's a lever here, so you can pull down on that. This is gonna tilt down, and that's gonna give you the space that you need to open up your rear hatch and put your stuff in or take it out. Some pretty, uh, Pretty cool too is each one of these wheel trays is gonna have an integrated lock. So pretty long cable that'll pull out and you can uh, lock your bike down. That way if you, you know, you swing into a gas station or wanna get something to eat uh, before or after the trails, you don't have to constantly kind of peek out the window and, and keep an eye on your bike. So you have a little more peace of mind on knowing they're uh, locked down. But the way that the rack is actually gonna hold your bike down is pretty simple. You're gonna have a wheel hook here and this applies pressure down, forces that wheel into the cradle. All right, and this actually has different cutouts too for uh, different size tires. And then if we move to the back, we're just gonna have a strap back here. And it actually, everything does a pretty good job of keeping everything supported. Um, you know, not really a whole lot of movement. It's kind of moving the whole rack around. That's pretty normal, um, but just about every one of these bike rack so uh, good stuff uh, why don't we go ahead though and just take our our bike off so we can have take a little bit closer look you always want to start at the back and you're just gonna disengage the strap here and whenever you're doing the front you want to hold on to your bike because as soon as you take pressure off this there's really not going to be anything holding it so you don't want to tip over and hit your car you're gonna push down on that button extend that arm up swing it out of the way and we're able to pop our bike off. Whenever you're not using the rack, uh, I definitely recommend just taking your wheel hook and putting that back down, as well as locking your strap back in. Um, but something you need to think about whenever you have the rack on the back of your Kia is the fact that it is going to extend the overall length of it. Um, so keep that in your head. You know, if you got a small garage or pulling to a tight spot, that's something you want to remember. But we'll take a measurement here to give you the exact amount of space it's taken up back here. So from the bumper to the furthest point, looks like it's gonna be right at about 29 and a half inches. And then uh, to free up space, this actually does fold up. It makes it pretty compact. Uh, we're gonna have this, this, again, this lever here. Click that down. This folds up like so into the stored position and then it Sits up nice and tight, actually, against the back of our Kia. Uh, makes it really compact. Looks like the furthest point is probably gonna be this knob here. And find a good spot to measure. Let's go from here to it. And that looks like it's gonna add about 13 inches to the back of your uh, SUV. So in this position, you really shouldn't run into any issues, even if you do have a, a real small garage or pull into that tight spot. So this rack is going to work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Kia. And it's going to come included with a locking hitch pin as well, so it'll stay secure to your hitch. 
And if we move uh, back out to here, there's gonna be this knob, and whenever you tighten that down, what it's gonna do is eliminate any slop or play in the, there in the connection point where you actually put the bike rack into your trailer hitch. And that's just gonna prevent it from kind of bouncing around and clunking so you don't hear it whenever you're driving down the road. Uh, give you an example of that, let's say for, for cruising and we're hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is gonna move with our Kia and not on its own. But other than that, you know, uh, if you're looking for a high quality bike rack that is tried and true, uh, this one here is one you definitely can't go wrong with. If you're anything like me, you always wanna see the product you're interested in uh, actually working or in action. So why don't we go ahead, load up some bikes, take this out on the test course and see how it does. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Kuat MV 2.0 platform style bike rack on our 2017 Kia Sorento.